Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. IBPS SO notification is out and today we are going to discuss it. So notification for the year 2021-2022. So posts are there for IT officer, AFO, Raj Bhasha, Dikari, law officer, HR officer and marketing officer. So that's what we are going to discuss today. First of all the dates, important dates. So you can apply from today onwards from 2nd of November till 23rd of November the exam the pre exam is going to be held on 26th of December and 27th of December and the mains exam is going to be held on 24th of January 2021. Eligibility criteria that is why a lot of you are watching this session age as on 1st of November 2020 20 year to maximum 30 years so uh, a candidate must uh, uh, must have uh, been born not earlier than to, uh, 2nd of November 1990 and not later than 1st of November 2000, right? And the educational qualification as on 23rd of uh, November 2020. So the dates for the age criteria and educational qualifications are different, right? Please uh, remember that. For IT, 4-year degree, B.Tech in Computer Science, CS, uh, you are eligible B.Tech in Electronics, uh, uh, you are eligible B uh, BTEC in uh, you know communications in uh, instrumentation you are eligible or a post graduation degree in uh, IT computer science electronics so all those MC MSc IT they are eligible and uh, graduates having passed DOE A double C uh, B level they are also eligible for the agricultural uh, field officer four year degree graduation in dairy science and you know agriculture horticulture animal husbandry all the you know degrees related to agriculture veterinary fishery pisciculture they are eligible okay and the law officer llb uh, and the person the candidate should have already enrolled for the as an advocate with the bar council so mba uh, for uh, hr officer and uh, marketing officer mba is required mb or pg dbm for the personal officer, uh, now that is an important point. A lot of students are confused here. Uh, so if you have done MBA in uh, HR, if your major subject is HR, then obviously you are eligible for HR officer. If there is dual specialization, HR and finance, HR and marketing, then the, you are eligible for HR, right? The same goes for marketing. If you, are, if you have done dual specialization, MBA in uh, marketing and HR, MBA in finance and HR, you are eligible for both you know marketing and HR right in case of dual specialization you are eligible in case the major is finance minor is HR you are not eligible in case the major is finance uh, minor is marketing you are not eligible for marketing officer in case of general MBA you are eligible for HR and marketing officer nothing is mentioned about a major minor you are eligible in case the number of uh, specialization is more than two if it is three, then you are not eligible for any exam. So, ye clearly mentioned kiya hua hai, hai? So, um, let's move forward. Um, relaxation is there for SCST five years, person with uh, benchmark disability ten year, OBC three year, ex serviceman five year, person affected by nineteen eighty four rights five years, right? So, important points uh, coming forward, right? Uh, exam pattern uh, obviously the exam pattern is same English language uh, you know 50 question 25 marks half mark a question one one mark for uh, you know uh, reasoning and GA that is for the law officer and Rajbhasha Dikari for IT AFO HR and marketing there is quantitative aptitude instead of general awareness right so 40 minutes for each section so for marketing officer last year the cutoff was like 28 29 you know for the pre it it ranges between 25 to 30 for the marketing every year this year because the number of vacancies just 16 that cutoff can go beyond 45 right so 45 plus is going to be the cutoff for the marketing for sure even for the other exams right the cutoffs are going to be 45 plus or even 50 plus that is possible quite possible but there will be not major impact on the on the cutoff sorry for that there will be no major impact on the cutoffs or on of the you know uh, of the mains exam the cutoff for the you know professional knowledge uh, marketing that would be around 34 35 only i'm not expecting that to be more than 40 so uh, yes that's actually and 45 minutes time is not a major issue here and uh, 
eighty percent weightage is given to the mains exam and twenty percent to the interviews. Let's move forward. I guess you have already seen that. But uh, let me just show you the number of vacancies. Mm. Maximum number of vacancies came in that agriculture AFO. So total 20 vacancies in the IT officer and 485 in agriculture field officer, Raj Bhasha Dikari 25, law officer 50 and HR officer just 7 and 60 for marketing officer, right? So don't, don't just worry at all. For the pre-exam, the cutoff can go high. It, it won't be like 25, 25, 30 at all. It will be more than 45, maybe more than 50, quite possible. But there won't be major impact on the mains cutoff. So I would highly recommend you to, you know, start your preparations as soon as possible, right? As soon as possible. I'll be making really, uh, you know, amazing videos for marketing officer, even for the law officer on this channel. So stay updated and if there is any doubt in your mind, always ask your doubts in the comment section and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to answer all your, uh, you know, doubts and in the next videos, I'll be sharing, you know, proper study plans. I have actually already shared the study plan for the marketing officer, uh, like uh, on Saturday, just two days back. So just go through that study plan. I'll share the link to the study plan in the description. Please go through that study plan. And still, if there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts in the super chat and I'm going to answer your doubts. So that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Subscribe to this channel and like this video and follow me on Telegram. My Telegram channel name is Bank Exams Today. Bank Exams Today. And I have a separate channel for IBPS. So marketing, which you can follow as well. So that's all for today, students. Thank you. And have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.